And here we have a PO8 intake manifold off a D16 Z6. It will be porting this to discuss with you guys and we cut the platinum open. We cut it from here. And also, this is going to be a lot different because this is the manifold that we're going to port so that we can dyno test versus a stock PO8 manifold. And we'll be using, of course, my own four door that has a D16 A6 that's fully set up and we're going to talk about the intricacies of all the mods that we do and also even the details of why we do what we do or why we port what we port and also the change that we do on the divider like this to increase plan and volume so you know this is going to be really awesome First things first, because my personal Facebook account has been hacked, so I have no access to, to the Facebook page, you guys can check out our Instagram account. Here it's Ralph SRDMS. You can just follow up on all that questions and all the things that you want to talk about. You can message us there. And of course, link will be in the description below. So here we are with a PO8 intake manifold. We're going to cut the plenum here as we labeled it to show you guys. We're also going to run a throttle body spacer because I use a 70 millimeter throttle and that's the only way to make it work on a PO8. And that's because I'm also using a skunk too on my own setup. But of course, when we dyno test a stock PO8 manifold, we're still going to use this plenum spacer and the same throttle. This way, the only difference is the intake manifold itself, right? Okay, so we're going to take this off. Wait a minute, then we cut the plenum and we go straight to the porting bench. Let's go, let's go. Okay, after chopping the manifold, they can start. we start with the carbide first, of course, as we get the shape going started. Of course, we got to time lapse this. And as you notice, on the divider, we actually described the red marker just for reference because, you know, I just wanted to make sure. Usually, I don't do this, but when you need help or when you realize, you know, you just got to be more sure, we got to do this. So, you know, it doesn't hurt to be sure or to be certain. Okay, there you go. And now here is the initial shaping that has started. And you can see we're opening up the entry now, right? Okay, now we go with the cylindrical carbide cutter. This way, it gets me to do the contours smoothly without bumps or lumps. Now, of course, we go with time lapse. As you can see, we can slowly get the shape to how we desire it to be more consistent gradual opening for the entry this way it mimics a velocity stack okay now let's look at it close here we go oh yeah the shape is starting to get to where we want it like you know nice flared pretty good yes sir and also the roof part i have to do that and then let's wash this up and take it to the workbench to show you guys and after spraying it with water, now it's called cleaned up without the debris. And you can see, now you can actually see it better that the flaring is starting to look like a velocity stack, right? On each of the runners, especially here on this one near the throttle. Look, it's starting to look good, right? Yes, sir. And you can see on the sideways here, here you can slightly see, wait, let's focus it better on the phone there you can slightly see or get an idea that by flaring it like this you start to slightly increase plenum volume which is definitely a good help because the runner sequence of the po8 manifold is actually already really good so this would help tremendously like really good especially on built engines or camped engines like mine here's a closer picture as you can see the contours are slowly getting there. Now we might need to go with a sanding roll just to get it all shaped to how we want it to be. Yes, sir. It's still a long way to go. And of course, and since you're here, why not hit the subscribe button and hit the bell notification. This way you're notified every time we upload a new video for you guys. And of course, hit the like button because that helps spread out the video to a wider audience. And you know you guys want to do that, so it helps the channel. Let's go, let's go. 
And this, when this is done, we, we got to do a rebuild series of my engine just for this and then go to the dyno and test both manifolds. Okay, now too much rambling. Let's go to the porting bench and let's go with the 80 grit. Okay, first we go with the 70% ethyl alcohol and soapy water mix, which is 30%. So 70 to 30. Because I, I know people have been asking me that. But the thing is, it's not just the lubricant. It's also the applied pressure when you pour it with a sanding roll with a 80 grit and 120 grit is how it changes the finish. And now we go with the time lapse, of course. There you go. That, this, this is why on the other video, on the previous video, I said it's all, all about muscle memory. Because how you press on this is going to change how it looks. Here, we're almost there, but not quite. But here, I'm showing you guys how the shape is turning out to be. And yes, sir. And of course, we did it a few more passes, but, uh, you know, I moved the phone because it, it hits the angle. And now here we are, even better now, and including the roof or the short turn, right? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. It's getting there now. It's going to be all good. And of course, now we're going to clean it up with a pressure water or water with pressure and then go to the workbench. Here we are now, as you can see, now it's all cleaned up. It's almost there, not quite, but almost there. We're like maybe halfway through before finishing the whole intake manifold. But you can see the flaring up and it's really good, right? Even the divider has taken into shape. And here on the side, you can see the more we flare up the runner entries, the more it seems like it almost increases the plenum volume just a little bit, just a little bit, but it does. So that's really good. As you can see here, it's like a velocity stack, right? Yes, sir. Okay, now let's, Try to turn the manifold here to show you guys what the, oh, at an angle you can actually see that you know the plenum volume is slightly getting increased or bigger, right? So that's good. That's really, really good. Here, let's turn the manifold a bit so you can see it better. There you go. You can see the dividers as it takes the shape as we flare the entry, it gets to increase the volume by shortening it, right? And here, let me show you a picture. I, I scribed, scribed the line to show you guys. Here at this angle, as you trim the divider to flare the entry even more, it starts to get lower or shorter. It's gonna be like this. You can see by this time, it's gonna be shorter there. And of course, even the one in the middle. And of course, the one, the first one, one and two on runner one and two. This way, it's going to be shaped really good and really well. And this is how we do we, we do this differently on each manifold. And if you look at it, it actually increases the plenum volume. And because my engine is cammed with, with pistons, this is going to work really good. It's going to compare well with the stock D16 Z6 P08 intake manifold. So, of course, the dyno will be really fun, right? Okay, now here you see, and one last look at the divider that we showed earlier that we're gonna cut up, and now let's go to the reporting bench, and here we are. Yes, sir, we didn't take a video on it, but we slightly moved it backwards. As you can see now, you literally see a little bigger or a slightly bigger plenum area, right? Yes, sir. We moved back the divider just a bit, as you can see here. Yes, and now we're going to start porting it again with 80 grit further just to get it smoothed out. Here we are now with the ethyl alcohol and soapy water or dishwashing soap mix. Yes, sir, we spray it lavishly to the ports of, of the runner entry so we can port it. And also, here we are. Yes. 80 grit okay and as we time lapse this let me explain the reason for the lubrication or the lubricant mix that we did is because when i tried it with just dishwashing soap the whole thing it didn't dry up or evaporate it just kept smearing all the mess and all the carbon all around the port so it got it dirtier than expected and then i tried ethyl alcohol only and it was just it evaporated too fast or too quick so what i did was 70 percent ethyl alcohol and 30 percent 
and soapy water mix and that worked for me and now here we got it almost cleaned up with the 80 grit let's look at it closer oh yes sir you can see even the divider that we've moved back a bit it's bluntly shaped well so you know this is gonna be working really good because each side is like a velocity stack opening so eventually it becomes a an edge to one another so it has to be blunt and rounded off let's load it closer you can see yes sir even the roof is good now we spray it further with the ethyl alcohol soapy water mix because we're gonna go next with the 120 grit so we got we want this lubricated really well so that the 120 grit cleans this up really good so now here we are with the 120 grit yes sir okay now let's go get this smooth and really good yes sir and of course we time lapse this so it's gonna be you know less boring but as you can see the shape is starting to get cleaned up as bright as you know the usual port that we see when it's aluminum it's clean but it's not right away that clean so as you can see we have to make several passes on each runner entry so that we get to the shape that we want and the contours that we want. And the reason why I need it clean like this is because light can show us bumps. And now we're done with the all four and we repeat it once again. So in number three, number one, I mean number two and one and then three and then back to four. As you can see, it's getting cleaner and cleaner, right? Okay, now here we are. Let's look at it closer. Oh yeah, now it's starting to look really, really good, right? And you can literally see those are velocity stack entries, right? Yes, sir. Now we gotta clean this with pressure washer with water and then go to the workbench. Let's go, let's go. Well, here we are now all cleaned up and you can see this has gone really far or drastic change in from stock form, right? Or compared to stock. Let's look at it closer. Let's try to, you know, focus the camera or the phone. Wait, let's go here. Let's get the focus going on. As you can see, those are a bunch of velocity stacks, four of them to be exact, right? But you can see even runner number one shows it really, really good. So this, the goal here is to have it flowing efficiently inwards in toward, in towards the runner entry so that the intake manifolds runners are well filled therefore it actually you know completely fills the intake pores because you know we poured the head to make it flow better but the manifold has to do its job and you can see here runner number four is transitioning well from the throttle and that part there needs to be cleaned up but it's actually smooth it just changed color because of the lube we got dried up so you know we gotta fix that but this is really good now back again here you can see that those are velocity stacks oh yeah and here i want to show you something let's turn this manifold you can see those velocity stacks are shaped really well we gotta turn this forward here we're not gonna totally port match this into my head this way it becomes a fair comparison to a stock po8 head i mean stock po8 intake manifold because i'm not gonna port match a stock manifold onto my head so this will be a fair comparison it will be just strictly on the ported ported manifold alone and not even port matched because you know it, this might perform even better if it's port matched well to my head and that won't be fair to the unported po8 intake manifold so we got to make this comparison a little fairer than usual. Yes, sir. You can see that. Oh, sorry about the noise there. I'm using one hand. Yes, sir. And so now with all this thing said, hopefully in a month, we get to pull my engine down. This is a D16A6 with a Bisimoto level 2.X cam and all the pist and pistons, of course. And the reason why we want to pull this down is and to do build series because we built this before we made the channel. So to share with you guys and then of course the first dyno would be with a stock PO8 intake manifold and then we dyno it again with this ported intake manifold and lastly my skunk 2 ported intake manifold and maybe the ITB also. 
right so you know you got to hit the like button so this gets spread out more and of course subscribe to be updated and of course for the next one you can just click here for that